Hello everyone, the quarantine continues all over the world. There are no gymnastics competition, but it doesn't mean that there are no news. Today in this video I have a selection of news from the world of rhythmic gymnastics from recent times. I'll tell you about the quarantine in Novogorsk, an intriguing addition to the last interview with Vera Birokova, the latest news about the competitions and many other interesting facts. Before starting, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Also, don't forget that you can support my channel for further development through the link in the description below. And let's begin! On April 1st, Yana Kudryavtsova published a post on her Instagram with a hint of her pregnancy, which of course immediately generated a bunch of comments and discussions. The fact that the the post was made on April 1st concerned many people and everyone thought that this was an April's false joke. But later on, Yana posted a post where she specifically answered the question that this is not an April's false joke and she and her husband are really expecting a second child. She is not that far into the pregnancy, but the beautiful photos are already ready. We congratulate Yana's families and we are waiting for information about the gender. Will be yet another young gymnast or a young hockey player? I'll be waiting for your assumptions in the comments down below. The most frightening news of the past days was of course the discovery of a coronavirus patient in Novogorsk, where the entire Russian team in rhythmic gymnastics is training. Last week, the media reported that the head coach of the Russian national team, Andrei Radienka, and medalist of the Youth Olympic Games, Sergei Nadin, who were in Novogorsk, were infected with a coronavirus disease. After the virus was detected, the training camps in Novogorsk was completed ahead of schedule by athletes in gymnastics and synchronized swimming. However, the second test for infection for the head coach gave a negative result, and the athletes feel great without any signs of illness. The head coach says that this is some kind of mistake, but in Novogorsk there were no other gymnasts left. Irina Alexandrovna Wiener said that the gymnasts were in another block and therefore this should not concern them. The athletes are also undergoing a daily medical examinations and in fact are quarantined at the sport base. According to Irina Alexandrovna, athletes should not be left without load. Despite the fact that the Olympic Games were postponed, they were not cancelled and therefore athletes have to stay in shape. In rhythmic gymnastics, no one has a positive test for coronavirus. All of the gymnasts have been living in a closed area and don't have have a permission to go outside. All the gymnasts, staff and all the coaches have to undergo the coronavirus test every two days. After a few days, this doesn't sound that scary and there were probably no people infected in Novogorsk and it was just a coincidence that two people's tests failed. Or maybe they're just not telling us the truth, which is also impossible to exclude. But I think it's very unlikely, especially given that in the account of Arina and Dina Averine, today there were stories from their street training. Right, what do you think about the coronavirus in Novogorsk? Whether the athletes really brought it there, or this is just an occasion to stop training for the national teams. By the way, I talked about this whole situation on my Instagram, so be sure to subscribe to it in addition to my life. You will also find out a lot of interesting information about any events and what happens in the world of rhythmic gymnastics. There is certain good news during the quarantine. Gymnast Anna Strashko received the title of Masters of Sport of Russia. Anya performed in the individual program. At the recent championship of Russia, she became a bronze medalist in the team of the Central Federal District. Alexandra Simibratova received the title of Masters of Sports of International Class. Sasha is the world champion in group exercises among juniors, and this year she switched to seniors program. The previous video on my channel was about the success story of Olympic champion in group exercises Vera Burikova, where she tells us how she got into sports, the Russian team and the Olympics, as well as how difficult it was to her to prepare and what injuries she suffered. Under the video, the comments filled in the question, what happened to Vera? Did she end her career or not? And Vera herself answered to subscribers. She answered on Instagram with an intriguing phrase. And who said that they completed? I love such things. The team has enough examples of the successful returns of gymnasts. So let's hope that soon we'll see Vera on the carpet. And given that the Olympic Games will be only next year, it may be at the Olympic Games 2021. What do you think? Can Vera make it to the Olympics in Tokyo? 
For athletes who are now in quarantine, there are a huge number of online trainings available where everyone can learn something and stay in shape. I already talked about this in one of my previous videos. And today I wanted to talk about an interesting project that launched the most popular group about gymnasts of the Russian national team in VK, Russian Team Daily. Administrators launched a challenge in which subscribers recall the exercises. On one of the days, subscribers shared exercise that in their opinion could would make people fall in love with gymnastics. Challenge continues now, so it is also an interesting entertainment for the time of quarantine. Well, a brief summary of the competitions in the world of gymnastics. At the moment, all the tournaments are still cancelled, and there are no new dates. There is information that the Dirugina Cup will be held on dates of the European Championship from May 21st to May 24th. But again, everything will depend on the situation in the world with coronavirus. Dates of the European Championship have not yet been appointed in the same way as there are no exact dates for any stages of the World Cup and Grand Prix. The Olympics are currently shifted for exactly one year ahead and will be held on the same dates from July 23rd to August 8th, but in 2021. The World Games, which were supposed to take place in 2021, were postponed to July 2022. These were all the latest news about which I wanted to tell you today. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and support the development of my channel through the link in the description below. Remember that I love you all, and for now, goodbye. The video was translated and dubbed by Alexandra Sinica.